Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between an actual AR-15 and an assault weapon or assault rifle. Many people are confused about this because they watch the news, they hear our politicians or various news outlets refer to this as an assault rifle. And one of the reasons is because they say the AR stands for assault rifle or they say it's an automatic rifle, neither of which are true. AR actually stands for Armalite Rifle, which is the first company that produced these in the late 1950s. The NRA calls AR America's Rifle because this is by far the most popular choice of rifle by millions of Americans out there. Some of the reasons for that is that it's great for target practice, sport shooting, it's very much customizable. You can see I have a flat dark finish on this and you can, you can make it fit your personality. There are just so many modifications you could do to customize it and make it all yours. But the main difference between this and an assault rifle, or they also say military style rifle, is that although they do look alike, they are very different. And the main difference that the AR-15 is with an actual assault rifle is the select fire capabilities. And what I mean by that is when I shoot this AR-15, I have to pull the trigger each and every time to fire a shot. People don't understand that. They think that I could just pull this trigger and that it will continuously fire and that is completely false. It has a safety and a fire indicator right here which allows me to keep it on safe or fire if I so choose. An actual assault rifle is not obtainable by the average American. The reason why an actual assault rifle is not easily obtained by many Americans is because of this, and I'll say this in basic terms. You have to fill out a lot of paperwork, spend a lot of money, and wait a long time for the ATF to approve that one individual. Although they look alike, the process is very different and the action is very different. With this semi-auto AR-15, I can fire the gun each and every time I pull the trigger. I get one shot per one trigger pull. The assault weapon or assault rifle offers select fire capabilities. So like this that has safe and fire, an actual assault rifle has safe, fire, and full auto. It is very different. Now I have an example of this using an FN M16 A4. Check we it have out. An FN M16 A4. One thing that makes this different, see there? We have the safe, semi, and the burst. Many of you may know this, but the burst is a three shot, consecutive shot. Did you see the differences between that M16 A4 and a semi-auto rifle? That had select fire capabilities. It offered a safe, a semi-auto, and a three-shot burst. That was military issued. A civilian cannot get that rifle. An AR-15 does not offer those capabilities, making the two rifles very different. So don't be confused. By definition, an assault rifle offers select fire capabilities, which offers continuous fire with one trigger pull. This AR-15 will not allow that. So as the media and as politicians demonize America's favorite rifle, I hope now you have a better understanding of why so many Americans love this setup. The AR-15 is safe, it's customizable, it's great for sports shooting, self-defense, training, People love it, and it really is America's Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.